Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video and today I'm showcasing the August card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And in the kit this month you will get an ink pad, that's the tropic color as well as a little sponge dabber. You get a set of little stencils that you can layer one on top of the other to create fun looks. Simon Says Stamp post-it notes, always handy and super cute. You'll also get another ink pad, again by Simon, and this is the white one. An embossing folder, lovely versatile design that you can use throughout the year. 6x6 papers, and these are the ones that I'm focusing today. You know that I love pattern papers and I always like to share ideas. A big stamp set with rainbows and other designs that you can mix and match, as well as sentiments. And three colors of cardstock. So as always, I'm focusing on the pattern paper in the kit and I'm going to show you some ideas on how you can use it to create really simple but lovely cards and I'm going to show you how you can turn all those flat designs into three-dimensional ideas. So first of all, I'm starting with a striped pattern paper that uh, has that lovely uh, shade of pink and I just cut out a rectangle out of that. Now I'm going to separate all those images. I'm going with the little image that has the vase with the flowers inside for this card. And one little tip that I can give you to make those tiny images look bigger is to create Polaroid photos out of them. So I use the little uh, square die to cut out the vase as you can see and now I'm using a scrap piece of white paper that I just had uh, laying around on my table and I'm eyeballing a rectangle that uh, would look as a Polaroid photo if I stick that square on top. You will see what I mean in a bit. By the way, if you are wondering why my channel has been so slow into posting videos, it's just because I'm taking some time off. I'm on a summer break. I usually every summer take the whole August as a break and most of July. Remember that I live in Greece and it is super hot during summer, so it makes it really difficult to stay inside the craft room and craft all the day, as my mind is always at the beach. So I'm spending most of my time I'm swimming. Now, meanwhile, you see I have already created my little Polaroid. I'm going to use a little uh, sentiment from the stamp set that was included in the kit. And for this one, I went with Hey Friend, which I'm going to stamp with black ink. I'm going to add some foam tape at the back and I'm going to pop it on top of my panel. Uh, you can uh, um, stick it straight, the center or towards the top. I'm going to add it on an angle just because I feel like it adds something extra on the card that makes it look more interesting. And then I'm going to bring in this pattern paper and I'm going to do a little bit of fuzzy cutting. You see this is uh, full of flowers that match the flowers of uh, the ones that are in my vase. And the idea is to try and make this kind of dimensional. So I'm going to cut out a couple of those. If you follow my videos, you know that I don't mind a little bit of fuzzy cutting. I find that uh, adding those extra images on top of what is already there in the design is going to bring everything into life. So it's totally worth it. And if you are wondering, as I was fuzzy cutting all those flowers, I did leave a little bit of a border all around. This is going to help them pop against the background. And you can see I'm using tiny little foam squares at the back so that uh, I can pop them on top of my card. You see, I'm creating a little composition on top of the composition that is already printed on my paper. And I make sure that all those flowers kind of come uh, outside of the border of the Polaroid. This is going to give even more interest on the design. Now, I had this set of enamel dots in pink shades by Alta New for Ages, and I find that it is time to use it a little bit. So here I'm uh, going to pick up one of the hearts, and I'm going to stick it just next to my sentiment, and I'm also going to add a few dots just uh, sporadically all over my card. To finish it off, I'm going to stick it with foam tape on top of my white card base, and that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And here is a close-up look on the first card for today, clean and simple, but absolutely adorable. 
Now for the next design, I'm browsing through the pattern papers and I absolutely love the color of blue, so I just had to make a blue card. One of my go-to recipes, and you probably know it by now if you follow my videos, is to create panels that I can stack one on top of the other on an angle. So that's what I'm going for, for this design. And I'm also looking on that pattern paper with all those squares to decide what would look nice on top of those blue pattern papers. So I decided to go with these flowers and I'm going to cut around the design so that I can pop it on top of my card. Now when I'm creating a card, most of the times I kind of have a general idea of what I want to do and uh, just go for it. So here for example I had in mind only those two panels and the other little one on top of that. And I'm popping one on top of the other to create my layers by using foam tape at the back. Now at this stage of course I need to embellish it somehow to take it to the next level. And that's when I'm starting thinking about it. I don't have the whole design of the card in my mind from the beginning. So you see here a little bit of the process, I'm browsing through the pattern papers, I'm checking if I want to stamp a sentiment directly on top. Finally I decided to cut out some of those sentiments from this pattern paper that are tone on tone. Uh, they are very subtle and I absolutely love this for this design. So I cut out three of them, I added a very thin strip of foam tape at the back and I'm just going to stick them on top of my design. They all have lovely positive sayings on top of them. And of course to finish off the card I'm going to add a few gems in blue color to match uh, the whole blue theme of what is going on for this design. And I'm also going to add a few of those gems at the center of the flowers. And that's the second card for today. You can see here some close-up photos. And now I'm going to show you a design that you can recreate with pretty much any busy pattern paper that you have at hand. So what I'm going to do is uh, use this beautiful pattern paper with the strawberries. And with my tape runner I'm going to add a little bit of uh, glue on top of my white panel here. So I'm going to stick this on an angle. I'm trying to decide if uh, this uh, pattern paper is directional, turns out it isn't, so just use any side. And then I'm going to cut out any excess paper. Of course, don't throw away the rest. You can create the exact same card with what's left, or you can fuzzy cut uh, those uh, little strawberries, leaves and flowers, which is what I'm going to do later on. Now, in order to help that lovely uh, red color of the um, strawberries to pop even more, I'm going to add a thin strip of cardstock in red color. You see, I'm using a very thin strip of foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick it where those uh, papers meet, the white with the pattern paper. This is a lovely technique that I always do when I use pattern papers and I find that it always elevates the design somehow. Always use a color that matches the color of your parted paper or you can go with gold or silver depending on the colors if they are warm or cool. So now you see I did a little bit of fuzzy cutting from the same pattern paper. I just cut out a strawberry branch as well as a few of the leaves. And then from the stamp set I'm going to pick the little sentiment that says hello and I'm going to stamp it along the line. I did trim the panel a little bit and I'm now sticking it on top of my card base. You see it matches perfectly with the stripe that I have. And now I'm going to use the little cutouts and uh, I just create a little cluster next to the word hello. Now I do have uh, tiny foam squares at the back so they are a little bit dimensional. And again a little bit of uh, sparkle always makes a card look more uh, special so I added a few golden gems. And here are all the three cards that I made for today, focusing on the pattern paper included in the kit. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as like the video. There is a list of supplies, just like always, down below in the description and you will find that on my blog as well. Thank you all so much for joining me and I hope you are all having a lovely summer.